So, <laughs> is that a good one? That's nice. So, hello folks, this is Fergie from Liverpool Bit, and we're at the world famous Latham tonight. Some great bands, they absolutely chock a block. But, tonight we are with Manfred Coolman. Hi. Hey Manfred, how you doing? Smashing, really smashing. I mean, having the problems, as you know, with, with the book title, but uh, therefore we're having a good publicity and the book is selling like alley. I mean, it's only called the 100 promo copies that I'm having now right. with the original title, so it's very limited. Right. And uh, it will be a collector's item one day, maybe. Yeah, of course. And uh, everybody's got to scratch out a certain word on that. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, the thing is, uh, I mean, I cannot use Mersey Beat. Right. Because of uh, the copyrights of uh, Bill Harry. I cannot use Mersey Sound Waves because of the copyrights of Bill Hart. So now we're looking for the right title. And uh, yeah. Well, if you want to use Liverpool Beat, we don't have a problem. Pardon? If you want to use Liverpool Beat, we don't have a problem. Well, yeah. uh, but no, it's, it's really sad because uh, just for the folks uh, crossed the interweb are going to be watching this. Manfred originally put a book out called The, the Sound with the Pound, yeah. <clears throat> which was probably the best piece of work defining the history of the Mersey Beat that had ever come out. But as he was the first to admit, there were bits in there that were missing, yeah? So you, you wanted to add to it. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. he's gone away. Uh, Sound with the Pound sold out, didn't it? It is sound, yeah, it's sold out, yeah. And he's gone away and he's produced the new book, which has got loads of new information. It's 142 new pages. Uh, well, it's uh, actually 140 uh, new images, photos, yeah, right. more additional, and more than uh, 100 additional pages with so all information, full with information. And Manfred was uh, very kind enough to send me an advanced copy, and uh, I've had a chance to read it. I've got to tell you, you got to buy this book because it is history. It's an incredible photography <coughs> that probably most people have never seen before. Uh, it's, a, it's an in-depth look at what was over 300 bands in Liverpool at the time. Of course, you can go out on the internet and you can buy 5,000 books on the Beatles, but you can buy very little about the real story of the Mersey Beat, which is not, not, not trying to denigrate the Beatles at all, but it was a lot more than the Beatles in Liverpool. The 60s, some fabulous bands. Yeah. As far as the audiences were concerned, we're up there with the Beatles. Would that, would that be right to say? Uh, and what Manfred's been able to do through his connections here and in Hamburg uh, is to put together the, the, the definitive story of the Mersey Beat. Because you, you promoted uh, shows, didn't you? I'm still promoting still shows. Promoting yeah, shows. With, with the Liverpool group still going yeah. over yeah. But you, you, you're, you're not in Hamburg. You're in Bielefeld. Bielefeld. Bielefeld yeah. Yeah. Well, all the Germans can, can come out of Hamburg here, let's face it. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no, but I think uh, for the yeah. folks to understand, because the Bielefeld Festival last year was a huge success, uh, wasn't it? It was uh, 2010, uh, yeah. the open air, yeah. 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 And you had uh, the Domino, King Size Tale, the Domino. Well, I had King Size Tale, on well, that festival, I had King Size Tale, the Dominoes, the Mojos, uh, the Hideaways, Carl Terry and the Bruises and the Undertakers. But, you know, all the Liverpool groups, and they like to come over. We, we had the, the searches there, we had the searches that was there with Mike Penda, I have to say. Uh, the Bass Band is coming quite regularly. The Undertakers are coming regularly. We had the Mersey Beats, uh, so you name it, we had it really. Alright, so I understand the next one you're having, you're, you're going to have the Crying Shames playing. Why not change? Well, you got to try. What I want to say is really uh, thank you, Fergie, for helping us so much with your website. Uh, with, uh, well, what we're, we're going to do? Uh, finally, finally, hopefully, the, the new title. Well, it's great. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. But uh, hey, it, there's nothing to thank you really because. Both of us want to keep this music in people's minds. We're doing it in different ways, whether you have our website, you're doing it but, but what Manfred's done, because he's had this issue with the word Mersey Beat, uh, which is, uh, I believe Bill Harry took out a trademark about six years ago. Uh, in 2006, yeah. And, uh, you know, okay, he, he has the rights, but, you know, that's yeah. his way. Um, what, what Manfred 
asked us to do was to put a little article up to the people to say, hey, we can't use this name, so what name are we going to use? So already we've had a really good response from, from the, uh, the viewers, uh, and the competition's still going. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So if you can come on Liverpool B and put your suggestion in, uh, the one that Manfred chooses, or the one that Manfred says is the best, uh, you'll get a free copy of the book. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So uh, you should do that. Um, and whatever it's called, it doesn't matter what it's called, because it's a great one. And uh, thanks very much, Manfred, for bringing it all back to us. Thanks very <laughs> It's great. Thank you for your help. All the best to you and please send your suggestions in. You never know, you might win a book, eh? <laughs>